Welcome to our last video to wrap up our lesson. Uh, these are the materials you're going to need. You're going to need a black Sharpie, or the black Sharpie that uh, we, you should have in your art school supplies. You need a pencil and you need your dry composition. We've already done two lessons of watercolor and now we're going to wrap it up here. So go get those things, come on back and join us. I have Sammy here, of course, as always, to do our very last video, and he's gonna remind us of our positive um, mindset. Go for it. Always try your best. If you get frustrated, take a deep breath, count to 10, take a deep breath and try it again. Everyone's art will turn out differently. Your artwork is uniquely yours. Art is not perfect. All right, Speed Racer. <laughs> All right, so this is super simple. I want you to flip your piece over, grab your pencil, and Write your name on the back so we don't forget that. Write it big enough for me to see, um, but not too crazy big. And then um, flip it over, grab your Sharpie, and you can start tracing over your lines. If you have a thinner Sharpie at home, like we have this thin, thin Sharpie, you can do the back, uh, the background, the, um, uh, the hills, and the horizon line in a thinner Sharpie if you have one. If you don't, that's perfectly fine too. You can just use the Sharpie that was provided. I'm gonna use that. And then you could use, um, I was telling Sammy that he could do that for the, for the background and then for the trees and the shrubs, he could use like the thicker Sharpie. But it's really up to you. It's just your, what you have at home and what you'd like to do as the artist. So, oh Ooh. goodness, sorry, hit the iPad. Okay, so I'm gonna start by tracing my hill in the back. And do you notice how I lifted up and I didn't go over my tree? Because my tree is in the front. So everything behind it, I need to lift my pin up. Okay? Everyone's going at their own pace. This is gonna be really short because there aren't many lines. So I have my horizon line here. And it goes out here. And now I'm onto my trees. I'm not gonna do anything with the root system. I'm gonna leave that the way it is. Not gonna define the root system there. Okay, so Sammy, I like how you left the root system undefined there. Beautiful. Okay, we're going at our own pace and we're also taking our time to make sure we're doing our neatest. All right. Just a few more minutes until I'm done. You might be a little bit longer because my paper is about half the size of your paper. Just a few more seconds until I'm done. There's one, two, three, four, five, six seconds. Okay. I'm done. All right, so Sammy finished his. He's all done. I'm gonna finish mine. He has his name on the back. Thank you, Sammy. Go ahead and, and you can just leave it there. I'm gonna finish, he's saying bye. Okay. I'm gonna finish. Uh, you might be done as well. Um, I'm doing my shrubs in the front. And then I decided I'm gonna leave my root system untouched there. That's up to you on that. All right, and then I'm on to my last tree. So it's looking like this is gonna be about a five minute video or so. Okay, I'm 
going to wrap it up. Okay, I just finished, so you might still be tracing. If you are, that's totally fine, but we are done with our lesson here, and you can stick this back in with your finished art pieces and paper clip it in there. Make sure your name's on the back. Double check all the other art pieces. Make sure your name's on the back of all of them, and then you are ready to turn this in at the next material uh, pickup date. So looking forward to seeing everybody's finished piece and I hope you guys had a good time and I will see you for the next lesson.